Hello everyone. So today we will have a look at um, a workflow uh, to sort of receive all the emails from your inbox into a SharePoint document library. So the prerequisite is that you have your Exchange Online set up, you have your emails coming into your um, inbox and whatever emails you're coming into, which are coming into your inbox, you are receiving it into a library, into a list basically, not a document library, but into a SharePoint list. So I have created a list with a few custom columns like uh, a sender, which is a single line of text and email body, which is a rich text editor, of course, uh, uh, where you have multiple line of text and enhanced text is taken in. And I have also uh, created a column for mail date, like the date when the mail comes in. Once this is done, then we need to create a flow. Let's do that now. All right, so we will click on create and then we are going to click on automated cloud flow. And then we are going to type in the name of the workflow, which we are going to create. Like I'm typing in get all emails because that's the purpose of this flow. And then I'm going to search for the trigger which is called when a new email arrives. Great. Last time I checked it for the version two. Good. We're just going to select that. We'll just create. All right, now after adding this action called when a new email arrives, we're just gonna click on new step. And here we are going to search for another action for which we are going to need the link for the site. The action is called create item. So in which we have to define where that item needs to be created. For that, we're gonna need a link for the site. Then we need to define the name for the list. And uh, then we need to specify some metadata here. Mm, all right, title, just going to put in the subject, whatever is the subject of that email. And then we're gonna need the name of the sender, basically the email address. So we'll just use the from. And then for mail body, we're just gonna use the body. And uh, date, we'll just use the date and time we received the mail. We're just gonna click on new item one more time. And now, because there will be multiple attachments, yeah, so we need to create a loop as well for that. So we can grab each and every attachment and can attach those within the same line item in the list. So for that matter, we just need to create a loop, apply to each, and under apply to each, we need to apply to each and every um, attachment, yeah? Because we need to grab each one of those. So we'll just find attachment here. There you go. Now under this, now we need to run this attachment on the email body until all the attachments are uh, un until the flow is done grabbing each and every attachment so we need to add each attachment into the same line item therefore we're just going to first put in the link for the site select it then the then we need to set the name for the list once again and then the ID number, that way it will keep on putting the same item within the same line item. I mean, more, uh, more attachment within the same line item. And then the file name, we're just gonna keep the file name as is, whatever the name of the attachment is. And then whatever the content is the file. Just use that, attachment content. So that's pretty much it, your workflow is done. That's it. Now we are going to click save and then we are going to test. Uh, we will just create, I'll just, because I have uh, 
Gmail as well. So I'm just going to send an email to myself, but it will be from Gmail to my email address, which is configured on Office 365. So let's see how it goes. All right, I'm just going to type in some subject and then I will put in some body as well. Please like and subscribe, share and like as well if you like the video. I'm also going to attach some files, so I've attached three files. And now I'm going to hit send. Let's see, yep, the email has come through. You see the three attachments are here as well. Now we'll go just to refresh this bit. It should show me all the runs. Yep, this is the last run, which was fairly quick. Only a few seconds it took. It succeeded. Now we have that email information attachments everything up over here isn't it amazing just I'm just going to make a little change in the view of the list just so things are a bit more clearly visible I want to know if this email had any attachment or not I want to see the attachment column and I want a unique ID for everything there you go so now, now I know this email has attachment and I can see the body of the email as well and I can see all the attachments, all the three attachments can be seen over here. So if you like the video, please feel free to uh, hit like, subscribe and share the video as well. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comment area below and I will try to get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching this far and uh, you guys have a great day. Bye.